All right, so Congressman it. DeSantis, let me turn to an issue that's been plaguing your campaign. Um, one of your donors called President Obama the N-word. Uh, you denounced his comments, but you did not return the money. Uh, the morning after your primary win, you said Florida voters shouldn't, quote, monkey this up by electing Mayor Gillum. You insisted your comments had nothing to do with race. But what do you say to Florida voters who have concerns about your keeping the money from that contributor, your comments, and about your tolerance? Because he made a mistake, he apologized. Um, here's the deal. Uh, you know, you look at my record, uh, whether it's in the military, when we're downrange in Iraq, it didn't matter your race. We all wore the same uniform. We all had that American flag patch on our arm, and that was end of story. You look at me as a prosecutor working with law enforcement. It didn't matter the race of the victim. We were there to support the race of the victim. So Floridians can know that I'll be a governor for all Floridians. That's the only way you can do it. It doesn't mean we're going to agree on every issue, but you know what? If we disagree tomorrow, maybe two weeks later, we'll find some common ground. So that is what I believe. And here's the thing. Uh, I look at what Andrew has done in terms of aligning himself with groups like the Dream Defenders, who one of their, he stood on the debate stage, said he stood with them, he stood by them. But one of their main planks of their platform is to boycott, divest, and sanction the state of Israel. Uh, they want to, they say Israel's a genocidal apartheid state. They attack law enforcement and the police. So that, it, to me, is very divisive. I don't think he should assign that Dream Defenders pledge. I think he should disavow them. Uh, because I can tell you this, if you want to unify Florida, uh, taking positions about Israel like that, uh, that may be unifying if you're running for the mayor of the Gaza Strip. It ain't unifying here. We're a pro-Israel state, and we need to do that. Mr. Mr. Mayor? Well, let me just simply say, my relationship with Israel is beyond reproach. I'm the mayor of a city that has a sister city relationship in Israel uh, with the city of Ramah Sharon. I've been to Israel three times, and I've had rabbis from my community come to my defense in this regard. Uh, that was a clever attempt to get away from the fact that Mr. DeSantis himself used to moderate a xenophobic, racist Facebook page. Oh, that is not he is, true. It is, in fact, that the is truth up until See, you this became is what the, the Republican does. nominee. Let's do one at a time. I'll, when I'll, you we'll became the Republican you. nominee, your response was, I don't even do social media. Uh, that was after you got caught. Uh, you've spoken at so, conferences you, where there have been so, racist and xenophobic uh, and anti-Israel it's, it's his turn to... It's his on the Facebook stuff, you can get added to these things without consent. I never consented to anything. Yes, you can. Okay. I never consented to anything. Once we found out about it, I just discontinued my Facebook thing. He mentions this conference. There was nothing wrong with that conference. I can tell you this. The keynote speaker at that conference was a Medal of Honor recipient mm -hmm. named Clint Romache. Um, and so you can impugn his integrity like you're trying to do mine. Uh, you've not served the, you've not worn the uniform. You don't know what sacrifice that takes. That man is an American hero. And I was proud to speak at the same conference that he spoke at. Mr. Mayor. Again, uh, the, the Congressman let us know exactly uh, where he was going to take this race the day after he won the nomination. The monkey up comment said it all. And he has only continued in the course of his campaign to draw all the attention he can uh, to the color of my skin. And the truth is, is you know what, I'm black. I've been black all my life. So far as I know, I will die black. Uh, but this is the point. The, the, the only color that the people of the state of Florida care about is the blue-green algae flowing out of the east and the west side of this state, and they deserve a governor who is going to protect this environment after 20 years of, of environmental protection, uh, uh, de thank degradation. They also, they also so, deserve a governor so, who so will stand by. So they don't need to worry about. Thank you so much. They, will also, they also deserve a governor who will stand by our men and women in law enforcement. And the fact is, Andrew signed a pledge with the Dream Defense pledging to support this radical manifesto. If you read that, they are so vicious about hating law enforcement. They say the police and prisons have no place in justice and that law enforcement should be defunded and the money diverted for welfare programs. The people who put on that uniform and risk their lives Thank for you. us should be applauded. They should not be denigrated by a radical pledge. You should not have Thank signed you. that. That is a huge mistake. So, Thank first you. of all, I have no idea what pledge uh, he is talking about. The only thing that I said is that as governor, I will not see private prisons operating here in the state of Florida. If you want to know about my record with police, because I've got public defenders and sheriffs all over this state who endorsed me okay. in this race for governor. We're gonna we hired more law enforcement officers so they could do their job. Thank you so much. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more of the CNN Florida governor's debate. Thank you so much.